What's up, y'all? This your boy, this be your boy Scotty, and I'm back for another video. I took a little cat nap, so I'm a little bit more energized to do this video. Um, this is my Big Brother review. I haven't done a Big Brother um, review since it came on because, you know, been lazy. So um, I'm just gonna. I know it's been two evictions already, and I know that the power. Um, a veto is coming up tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna discuss the things that have transpired over the last two weeks, and this is just my opinion on it. But before I do so, I just wanna send a, send a special shout out because I did not get a chance to do it in the last video, with, like I was supposed to. But his Twitter name is It's King's World. I do not know how to pronounce his name. But I'm put the link at the bottom of the video so y'all can um, go to his YouTube page. His name is Mr. Cha Chalaki. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Don't call me a dummy, but I don't know how you pronounce it, but I'm going to post the link at the bottom of his page. Uh, at the bottom of my um, video rather so y'all can get the link to his page. He's one of my biggest fans. He follows me on Twitter. Half the time we don't be agreeing on a lot of shit. Don't not trust me, y'all. I remember my I remember my people because I read all the comments. So I remember everybody, and I remember the people I butt heads with. And this motherfucker was the main one I was butt heads with during the season of basketball wise, because I was team Tammy, he was team Keisha. You know it is what it is. But uh, make sure y'all support him just like I am. So put the link at the bottom of the page. I mean, I'm gonna put the link at the bottom of the damn video. I think I'm still sleepy, y'all. But anyhow, um, also. Go to my girl, China Darcy. Her name is Sierra. She's my college friend. She has her own YouTube page. She reviews the Bad Girls Club and talks about real life issues. Make sure y'all go to her page. Also, Shut Up Dorian and Geeks as well. And Closet Freak. And everybody else that I, that I just love. Like Ashley Shy Miller, B. Bundy. I'm the realest. Forrest Rocks. Um, much love from KY. Quans World One. I mean, it's just a lot of people. And I tend to forget a lot of them all the time but if you want to know who I'm talking about go to my um page where all my videos are and look at my featured channels on the side and all the videos is on there because I support everybody so shout out to them um right now let's get into my big brother video my big brother videos are not going to be long at all it's probably going to be under 10 minutes if it is more than 10 minutes it's because I was rambling at the beginning but let me just start off by saying, okay, the past two evictions were Kara and JoJo. And um, Willie was expelled. So what I'm going to tell you is, at first I was um, originally not liking the whole veterans coming back to the game situation because we've already had that happen. Why do the vets always have to come back? It's no longer a shock. But they were only coming back to be coaches. But now they're... It's America's choice to bring the vets back into the game. I'm really not feeling that idea at all right now. I'm not, but it is what it is, though, at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Um, first of all, Kara left. I really didn't know her like that to begin with, so I really didn't give a damn about her leaving. JoJo, I really did not want her to leave, but at the same time, you know, I liked her, but she was kind of a dummy. You know what I mean? My whole thing is I do not like how people did Willie. Yes, Willie made the most dumbest decisions to play so hard at the very beginning of the game. He did the wrong he did make the wrong moves. But it was just fucked up how everybody alienated him in the house and then, you know, he went up against Joe and you know he didn't even fight Joe. All he did was push him ahead, but it was like a little shove or whatever. Like, why the fuck did he get kicked out of the house for that? And they want to talk about they don't tolerate violence. But, I mean, Janelle and Bo had a similar scuffle before, and they did not get sent home. All they did was get separated. So, my whole thing is, I think that Willie was wrongfully put out. I know that Willie was stupid, but at the same time, I really wish that he would have whooped Joe ass, because Joe had no business saying nothing to him, and Joe always got something to say and as of right now I really don't have too many favorites in the house like of course Janelle is my favorite person because you know I rolled for her in the past I wanted her to win the last two times she played the game I never liked Brittany I never liked Dan and I hate Mike Boogie as far as I'm concerned as far as the new people that's in the house if I can remember all of their names I like Will um I kind of like Ashley I don't like Joe. Um, Shane, eh. um, Danielle, eh. um, <laughs> um, who else? If I'm not Frank, eh. like he's 
I'm not even going to say I don't like Frank. I think that Frank is a good player. And it'll end, Ian, and if I'm forgetting somebody, my mistake, but Ian might win the game, in my opinion, because he's not getting in. Wait a minute, I forgot Jen. I don't like Jen. But yeah. Um, Ian is probably going to win this game. I bet. If I'm mistaken, I don't want to say it too early, but it just I just feel like Ian is going to make it to the end because he playing this dumb ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's playing the naive college student dummy when he really got more sense than what he is letting on. And people don't even see it. And his ass is really going to go to the fucking end. I can see that happening. He is going to the end. If it's not Ian, it's going to be Frank. Them two are going to the end. But at the same time, I believe that Frank might not go to the end because he's too much of a fucking threat. And then Shane is a pussy because I think that it would have been his best interest to put two people on the block from each group. from One from my Boogie's group and one from Janelle's group. But you chose to put Joe and Ashley up. Two of the most harmless people in the house when you could have put up I would have been fine if you put up Frank and Joe. If you didn't want to put up Frank, you could have put up Jen and Joe. Why do I say Jen and Joe? Because Jen and Joe are basically floaters in my opinion, especially Jen. She doesn't have a she doesn't have an opinion. All she ever does is sit her ass around the house looking like a gothic ass fool. I mean, she doesn't have no type of an opinion and I never really see her. But she's staying in the house and she's gonna float on, float on, float on to the motherfucking end and I really don't appreciate it. Um Danielle, I don't like her. The only thing that we got in common is the fact that we got a southern ass voice and we got that southern charm. Other than that, she's an annoying ass bitch. I don't like her. She's a weak hoe. She's latching on to Shane for dear life and Shane is a pussy anyway because he's going to go with whatever Mike Boogie is saying when he needs to listen to Britney. You know what I'm saying? But, you know... I just, I really don't understand what it is, but, you know, Janelle is very furious now that um, Shane's put up two of her damn players and she's going to come after them. Janelle knows how to play this game. She is coming for them. I'm telling you right now, Janelle is going to come for them and, and Brenda don't want it with Janelle. She really don't. So, it is what it is. That bitch is going to come. Um, Mike Boogie, he, like, he, when drama occurs, he sits there and he just love for the shit to happen. You know what I'm saying? I just cannot stand Mike Boogie. I'd rather have Dr. Will back in the house as a coach and I don't even like Dr. Will. You know what I mean? So, I mean, as of right now, like, Big Brother really ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? With the drama and all of that stuff. And I really would love to be on that show. I've always wanted to be on that show. I've watched that show since I was um, in the sixth grade, basically since I was 11 years old. That's when the show first came on back in 2010. That was back when, you know, it was that um, black guy, William, with the bald head, and he got evicted the first night. That's when they used to let the audience pick the people to get voted out. Then, you know, there was this chick on the show named Jordan, a chick named Cassandra, um, a gothic chick named Brittany, um, Karen. I remember most of the people that was on that show. And back then, they had three winners. You know, they had the first place, the second place, and the third place winner. Like, back then, it was... And I think the person that won was Eddie, and I think it was somebody else named Josh, and I think it was another dude. But, yeah, but I've been watching that show forever, and I've just been watching it, like, forever. I'm, like, 23 now, and I've been watching it since I was 11, and I've always wanted to be on the show. But I think I'm a little bit too ratchet to be on that type of show, because I'll cut the bitch out in a second. I get, I read their ass, they write, they don't even want to air anything that I'm on. They only show my scenes on Big Brother After Dark. I think I'm a little bit too ratchet for that. But if they had a bad boys club, club of course that would be the type of show that for me. You know, whatever. But that's all I really got to say about this past week. Um, I really hate that JoJo went home. I think that she had the potential to be a good player. Because um, Danielle ain't going to do shit but let on to Shane. And she's not going to make any big moves. But one thing that I did... Um, one thing that I did agree with when, before JoJo went home was that she said everybody in the house was scared to make some moves and they really are scared to make moves. I really do agree with that. So therefore, that bitch know what she's talking about. So with that being said, this is all I got to say about Big Brother um, for the um, first and second week. I'm going to try to do better with my reviews on this show, but... As of right now, Big Brother really is a good season, but I hope that the Vits don't get back in the game. But then again, I kind of want to see Janelle finally win, but they need to get Mike Boogie out soon. It's like they always keep the biggest threats in the fucking game, and they just get rid of harmless people. Like, Ashley is so harmless. Why would you put her up? But put 
I would have put up Jen and Joe mainly because I don't like them and mainly because they ain't nothing but floaters and I want them to go the fuck home. That's just basically what it is. But um, that's all I gotta say about it. Um, if there's any good celebrity news, I do it my perspective and I'm gonna try to do them last few questions of Ask God. I'm not gonna make any promises, but I'm gonna try to do it. But with that being said, I'm out of here, you guys. Peace.